Hey guys, welcome to my video today. Today I'm going to be doing an updated skincare routine for you guys. The last time I did a skincare routine was like almost a year ago. I think it was like 10 months ago. So yeah, I just wanted to like do an updated version for you guys and just kind of show you what I've been using and what's been working for me and just some of my favorites and I want to share them with you guys just because I've learned a lot about my skincare within the last probably year or so. I accepted a position at work for a skin therapist so I've really been diving really deep into skincare and just everything about it so wanted to show you what I've been using um, and what I love and let's get started. So Mommy. first, uh, what? Baby. In a minute, okay? So first I obviously take my makeup off at the end of the day um, and with that I really love to be yeah. pre-cleansed from Dermalogica and I'm out of it right now. I'll pop up a picture here um, to show you guys what it looks like. Um, it comes in an oil form or like a solid oil so you can really mix it in your hands and it just it's like a makeup melter. It's so, oh, it's so good. So if I don't have that I'll use my makeup eraser here. You just wet the cloth and literally it just it takes off everything even like mascara foundation anything it takes it all off and it's so good I love it so after I take off my makeup I go in with my face wash so I have one for morning and night just because I want to be extra I guess I don't know so for morning I usually just wash my face right in the shower I've been using the enzyme cleansing gel Mario Badescu it's really nice because it doesn't lather like it doesn't foam up so it's not going to strip the natural oils from your skin my skin's been really dry lately so this has really been helping um and i love it a lot it's really great and it's a great price at night i've been using the kate somerville Mixtolicate cleanser it is foaming but i've noticed it really doesn't strip any natural oils but it does obviously cleanse your face really well so i really like this one and it smells like it smells just like I don't know really good I love it and then those are like my two main ones and then if I feel like if I'm breaking out really yeah. bad I go in with the Mario Badescu acne facial wash here I've had this for a long time but it's really like held up nicely and I love it and it seems to clear up my if I feel like acne spots I really like it it works really well and it clears it up within <clears throat> like a few uses too so I really recommend that if you are struggling with Mama. any type of acne Mama. Oh, my. Oh, look at so then obviously you want to exfoliate so I've been really into the Dermalogica daily microfoliant this one is really awesome and it comes out in like a powder form here a little opening right there and you just open it up put a little bit in your hand mix it with some water <clears throat> it's so gentle you can use it every day I only have to use it maybe like Mama. once or twice or not much price, like two, three, four times a week maybe, so not too much. Mama. Um, just depends on how Mommy. my skin is feeling. What? So then I also was using the Dr. Brandt Microdermabrasion uh, Face Scrub, and that stuff is intense. You only have to use that once in a while. Um, I'll pop up a picture here because I don't have it in here with me. It's just a mini one I got. It's really good. It's really intense. It is kind of hard to get off, so it's not one that I have to use all the time. And then if you want to go and, like, if you have any sort of, like, um, dark spots, age spots, anything like that, a really great face wash is the, the Glycolic, um, face wash from Mario Badescu as well. This one is really nice. You only have to use it, like I said, like, a couple times a week, maybe. Depends on, like, how severe your dark spots are. But this one's really good because it's going to be more like a chemical exfoliant. So it's not going to be, like, like a physical exfoliant, if that makes any sense whatsoever. <laughs> Anything with glycolic is going to be, like, a chemical exfoliant. And then, for, like, a face mask, I really like the Exuviance Detox Mud Treatment. This one here is really nice. I don't know if they even have it anymore. Um, but it is really good to clear out your pores and just kind of like refine your skin a little bit. And it does help with like oily skin, removes debris, toxins, excess oil. It's really nice. I gotta see if they still sell this because I know they just like revamped their whole skincare line. So I'm, I'm gonna double check and see. It is a really great um, face mask for if you're just feeling kind of like you need like a skin pick me up kind of thing. Hi, future me here editing. <laughs> Um, don't mind the background noise, it's just Landon watching a movie, but 
Anyway, I wanted to add in another face mask that's actually probably my favorite one, so I don't know how on earth I like forgot this, but I'm out of it, so that's probably why. It is the Lush Mask of Magnanimity, I think how you say it. So good, it's good if you have oily skin, acne skin, acne skin, acne prone skin. Um, definitely really good, and it really does help clear out your pores. It's more of like a, it like dries down so you can see the oil coming out of your pores, which is like super satisfying, and you just wash it off. It's not like a peel off or anything, so that one is really good. It's also um, pretty exfoliating too, so I would definitely recommend that one as well. And then for moisturizers, I have one for night and then one for daytime. The one for daytime is my Origins, the ginseng one. This is actually my second one here, so this one's actually almost gone too. This is my second purchase, and I probably will repurchase this one when Ulta does open up again. <laughs> Hopefully soon. I really enjoy this one a lot. And then for nighttime, I like the um, Tula Hydrating Day and Night Cream. It is really nice, but I feel like it's a little bit heavy for me during the day. I feel like the Origins one is just a little bit more lighter for the daytime. I feel like it kind of sinks in a little bit more than at night. It just kind of is a little bit more heavy, so it kind of really saturates in my skin overnight. And it does make me feel like pretty hydrated and pumped. So, yeah. And then I always like to go in with like a facial spray. I use this one from Mario. <clears throat> I use a lot of their products just because I love them. This is the lavender one with aloe, chamomile, and lavender. I don't really know if it like makes a difference, but I feel like it just kind of, you know, just kind of like sets everything together and just makes you feel a bit more like you're completed your skincare routine. <laughs> I have a bunch of them. I also have the aloe or the green tea one, the orange one, and, and the rose one. So I have all of them and I love them a lot. I feel like they're just like a nice, it just kind of like, I feel like at the end of your makeup routine or skincare routine, it's just nice to like spray your face. So it's just kind of all like you're done. So you, that's kind of like what I like to do. That's kind of all I have for this video. It's a really short one, but I just wanted to kind of do an updated routine because I think these are all new products I've had since I did my old video almost a year ago. Um, a lot of the products I use, I don't, or had in that video I don't use anymore. Um, I still love them. I just kind of like moved on and tried some new things. My skin also changed too, so I got a little bit more drier and a little bit more red, so I just wanted to kind of combat those issues with different skincare products. So yeah, I really enjoy these products. And they're pretty affordable. I think the most expensive would be the Daily Microfoliant. But this would last you like quite a long time. I think I'm like, I can't even tell. You can't see like how much you have left, but I think I have like probably more than half. And I've had this for, let's see, five months now. So I've had it for quite a long time. And I really love it. I love a lot of the Dermalogica stuff. Um, I know like a lot of people, it's that time of year with drier skin. It's actually snowing right now. Um, what the heck? <laughs> but if you're looking for a really good like hydrating face facial wash, um, I really recommend the Intensive Moisture Cleanser from Dermalogica. That one is amazing. It instantly like relieves your skin of any like tightness or anything like that. It is so good. Yeah, I could recommend products to you guys all day, honestly. I have so much more, but these are like my main ones that I use like most of the time. In the morning and night, I just have two separate routines just because. Oh, I also have a serum too. It's actually in this bag. Oh wait, I have some other ones in here too. Let me show you. I got like a sample kit from work and a lot of these I've been loving. So also for a serum, I this is just a mini one, but this is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. This one is really nice. I do like it a lot. I mean, I feel like it just kind of like pumps my skin up too and just kind of like prevents the anti-aging, you know what I mean? But yeah, that's a really great serum that I love. I do want to get like a vitamin C one. The Dermalogica Biolumin Serum is so good, but it's so expensive. It is really expensive, so. And then one last thing I want to share with you guys is a Sound Sleep Cocoon by Dermalogica. I know there's a lot of Dermalogica products, but I love them so much. This is a sound sleep cocoon by them. It's a really great product. And it also has like like little lavender, I don't wanna say beads, but like little like bursts. So at night, it'll just help you kind of like calm down and like help you go to sleep a little bit quicker too. So it's a really great product. It is a little bit pricey too, but this is just a mini size. I just wanted to try it. 
definitely a 10 out of 10 recommend. It's really good. It's a gel formula too, so it's not going to be extremely heavy, but still like, you know, really hydrating too. So yeah, that's kind of all I have for this video today. I'll link everything below or I'll list everything below. So you guys know, you know, everything like that. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying your stay at home time right now. If you are working though, thank you. We really appreciate it. And all right. I hope you guys have a great day, night, wherever you guys are. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.